as we all have seen the Occupy protests in the eyes of the media has become a laughing stock and ridiculed for lack of focus. If these lost kids have no idea what they are even protesting a list of demands cannot possibly exist correct, as they are nothing more than whiners are they not? We think otherwise and will elaborate for those who are ignorant and cannot escape the media blackout upon this. Our demands are as follows. Demand 1. Restoration of the living wage. This demand can only be met by ending free trade by reimposing trade tariffs on all imported goods entering the American market to level the playing field for domestic family farming and domestic manufacturing as most nations that are dumping cheap products onto the American market have radical wage and environmental regulation advantages. Another policy that must be instituted is raise the minimum wage to $20 and HR. Demand to institute a universal single-payer health care system. To do this all private insurers must be banned from the healthcare market as their only effect on the health of patients is to take money away from doctors, nurses and hospitals preventing them from doing their jobs and hand that money to Wall Street. Investors. Demand 3. Guaranteed living wage income regardless of employment. Demand 4. Free college education. Demand 5 begin a fast-track process to bring the fossil fuel economy to an end while at the same bringing the alternative energy economy up to energy demand. Demand 6. One trillion dollars in infrastructure, water, sewer, rail, roads and bridges and electrical grid spending now. Demand 7. One trillion dollars in ecological restoration planting forests, re-establishing wetlands and the natural flow of river systems and decommissioning of all of America's nuclear power plants. Demand 8. Racial and Gender Equal Rights Amendment. Demand 9. Open Borders Migration. Anyone can travel anywhere to work and live. Demand 10. Bring American elections up to international standards of a paper ballot precinct counted and recounted in front of an independent and party observer system. Demand 11. Immediate across the board debt forgiveness for all. Debt forgiveness of sovereign debt, commercial loans, home mortgages home equity loans, credit card debt, student loans and personal loans now. All that must be stricken from the books. World Bank loans to all nations, bank-to-bank -bank debt and all bonds and margin call debt in the stock market including all derivatives or credit default swaps, all $65 trillion of them must also be stricken from the books. And we don't mean debt that is in default, we mean all debt on the entire planet period. Demand 12. Outlaw credit reporting agencies. Demand 13. Allow all workers to sign a ballot at any time during the union organizing campaign or at any time that represents their yay or nay to having a union represent them in collective bargaining or to form a union. The message is clear and the media decides to cloud the ideals of the movement as a complete farce and a non-legitimate idea. These events maintained by those who will stand up for their human rights have put fear in the hearts of the controllers. When the puppet sees the strings it is only natural for the handlers to increase their campaign of disinformation to self-serve power and keep those who do not see the strings from ever doing so and in essence stopping the spread of any counter-information not pre-approved for the sheeple. Police have manipulated laws of this land to their own designs in order to quiet all those who shed light on the true sentiments of the populace and the arrogance of those who deem must unfit to see out their own lives. Every aspect of our lives from the breaking of dawn to the final glimmers of dusk is influenced by forces that do not have our best interests at heart, companies who impose their will through money, corruption and almost total control over the basic necessities of life in this age have no business exerting as much influence as they do currently. This is why we must continue to make the controllers understand we are the many and they are the few, only through continued pressure shall we break the system for the betterment of us all. Humanity will no longer be farmed out to suffice the needs of so few, no longer will we concede common sense and basic human rights just for the few concessions we are supposed to enjoy and continue mindless obeying the flawed and unjust system. The few give us freedoms that we are supposed to love and enjoy but move on all other aspects of our lives and we are not to notice and to be content with this level of control. They dangle certain things in front of the masses like candy in order to distract eyes away from their true intentions. 
All freedom we know and cherish is only meant to be protected long enough for the cattle to be happy and produce more bodies for the system. Unhappy cows do no good in the system of betrayal and total subjugation of mind and body. Their symbols mark everything and we are made to believe we cannot exist without them. Currently this is true and will never change as long as the media can get out its message to those who are easily swayed. Standing up against those who wish total control upon us is not something to laugh at or make light of on Facebook. You are a cog in their well-oiled disinformation machine every time you see no point in exercising your ability to speak out against those who no longer serve you or any other purpose beyond their bottom lines. This is exactly what they want from their good little sheeple and they have done a masterful job of getting half of the populace to ridicule the other into non credibility It seems that so few can think outside the system and when they do so they are evil and deemed unfit to tell their views as they do not fit what we are told to hold true. Do you see through this laughable ruse? We do.